Hi, ma'am. Hi. Ma'am, how does induction cooker work? I yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, in huh. my kitchen. Yeah, what was it happening? How did you, um, did you open it out? Yeah, bhaiya opened it. Yeah, it then what did you see inside? working. Huh. Uh, I saw some coil circuits and power connection. Now, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. So, it works on two principles. Right, that's called as the electromagnetic induction. Yeah. You can produce magnetism by using current. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you can use magnetism to produce current. Oh. These goes parallel. Otherwise, yeah. what do you think? Magnetism is different and electricity, electricity is different. No. You can be interconnecting both. Right? The first part what we are going to know here, the principle what you are going to use here is yes. that, that you are going to produce magnetism using electricity. Oh. Do you know the fact that if you pass current through a straight current carrying conductor, a magnetic field is produced around it? Yeah, electron. Yeah, magnetic field. Yeah, the magnetic field is produced around the current carrying conductor. Yeah. If it is a circular coil, then also it is produced. If it is a straight mm. coil, then also you can see that the magnetic field is produced around mm. it, right? Okay, now if the current is steady, yes. the magnetic field is also steady. And if the current is varying, the magnetic field also will vary, right? So, here you are sending the supply through what? AC. AC. The AC supply says that, if the current is varying, so the magnetic field also produced in the coil will be varying, right? Okay, the first part is now over. Now we are going to produce electricity using this magnetic field. According to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, if the magnetic flux change, EMF is produced. That means, EMF means that is the voltage which is produced, right? That means with this voltage you can also produce current. Hmm. Change the magnetic flux. You can produce the electric current, right? Okay. Now here, what happens is the magnetic field is coming out of this induction cooker via plate, and it is passing through the flat vessel of the, of the vessel where you have kept your magnet. Yeah. Right. Okay. So this gets heated up, hmm, and it gets cooked up because in that vessel you get eddy currents, right? And eddy current is produced. Eddy current produces heat. Because it is made up of metal, metal has got resistance. Mm. So, according to Joule's law, heat is produced, and this heat is used for cooking the food. But right. you just now said that AD current is produced in right. the vessel. Why don't I get an electric current when I touch the vessel? You don't get a shock. Yes, ma'am. Okay. No shock. You, there was no shock. This is simply because the AD current is in the form of a bowl. Oh. Right. So, it just rotates in the base of the bulk, bulk matter. In this case, your vessel. Right? It just goes round and round about it and only the heat is produced. You will get a shock only if the current passes through your body. And there is no current through your body. It is just yes. going round and round in the same vessel. Yes. Yes. Right? So, you don't get a shock. And my vessel is not heated up to the top. I yeah. am only the base or the part up to where the food items are there. Mm. It is heated up to there only. Why okay. Is this this, this is because, see, there is a coil yes, and coil when you pass electric current, the flux is produced, the magnetic flux is produced yes. and it is not strong enough to reach the upper part of the vessel. Oh. It lies only in the base. Uh. So, the heat is produced only in the base. base. You can see the flat base, right? Yes, so, only the heat is produced in the base mm -hmm. and the food particles which come in contact with this base mm -hmm. gets heated up. Oh. Right? Yes, Thank you, okay, so, go have your Maggie.